This one has an attitude and is not a big fan of the camera, as you can see. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. As for me, I'm gearing up to head down to Sykeston, Missouri, just south of St. Louis for some Reptile Prime business. But I have about a half hour here left at the shop and I'm just gonna kinda look around and see some animals before I go. I'm only gonna be gone for a day, so it's not that long, but I'm still gonna miss it here. But it's gonna be an absolutely amazing trip and I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible or night or whenever you happen to be watching it. What do you say we make this an amazing day? And for the next 12 or 15 minutes, let's put our problems aside and just have a great time together. Go down in the comments and tell me how your day has been so far and while you're down there smash that like button what do you say we get this day started one of my routines before I leave on any trip is to basically say goodbye to some of my animals again I'll see him again tomorrow I always love to say goodbye to Bella how are you doing this morning little chicky do oh you're looking good oh I love you <laughs> Oh my gosh. I definitely have to make a more concerted effort to carry Bella around a little more because she's still super docile, she comes up to you, but now carrying around, she kind of gets a little bit wiggly. So one of my resolutions is to spend more time with her on my shoulder so she gets more used to being with me and uh, doesn't want to run away as much So and be squiggly. Look at her, she's still, no. she's like, yeah, I'm not done getting petted. Okay, girl, I'll pet you some more. I'll see you tomorrow, okay, sweetie? Okay, bye. Of course, I showed you guys that Verde had shed up. Look at how gorgeous she looks now it's crazy and remember how I told you they really like to stay a lot in the water so when she gets bigger we'll definitely build her like a pond you know similar to like an RJ thing where there's a pond side and then a terrestrial side so she can spend a lot of her time they'll literally spend sometimes you know 50 60 percent of their time submerged in water just like this but she looks absolutely incredible and of course Perdita here is looking amazing look at the couple little more spots she's getting oh my gosh she's starting to get a little bit more spot it is so cool and one of the things I'm gonna to try to do guys and I hope I don't mess this up I'm gonna take a picture of her every Monday and every Friday for the next year so we can see how she develops those colors and patterns and then I'll put them together in like a real time-lapse type thing where you actually see her not only growing bigger but also coming into her adult colors with that spotting and freckling I have no idea how much pattern she's gonna have but I'm hoping that it's not more than maybe 30 or 40 percent because those are the ones I really like that are like 70 or 80 percent white with kind of freckling on them but she is absolutely gorgeous and of course I'll just go down here and check on RJ and Bowser make sure the pond is all going good which I'm sure that is. Hey RJ, hi sweetie, how are you doing you little monkey? And of course Bowser is where Bowser always is so oh my gosh it's gonna be good again it's always this weird feeling when I'm gonna leave the shop I'm always like oh gosh I'm gonna be gone but I'm only gone one day I'll be back tomorrow so it's not a big deal whatsoever and then we're gonna be gearing up for hopefully that California trip here in the next maybe even five or six days we might be leaving so that's gonna be an amazing adventure anyways without further ado I could mess around here all day I do have to get out of here because I have a long long drive ahead of me so uh, what do you say we pack up say our goodbyes to Lori and get on the road. All right, so Lori, I have to get out of here and get on the road, okay? Okay. Okay, so you're going to be vlogging here because these people want to keep up to what's going on here at BHB. But, okay, well, I'll vlog, but honestly, I was going to go on a little mini vacation. <laughs> you are not going on any mini vacation. There's no, you would better stay here. Do not do that. You, you're staying here, right? Maybe. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to be stressed out the whole trip. You better go. All right, I gotta go. I'll vlog go. it. Don't worry. I'll vlog it. <laughs> this is what I have to put up with, people. This is what I have to put up with. I know you feel bad for me. You're so lucky. You're so lucky. <laughs> okay, I gotta go, okay? All right, so I'll see you later. Love you. Okay, bye. You know, I couldn't be more proud of the way Reptile Prime is going. I realize that it's been a little bit of a slow start, but it isn't because we haven't been really working our butts off. There's just a lot that goes into starting a business like this, and we needed to kind of get our feet wet as well. So we put out our first product, which of course was the coconut husk, and it's been so good as far as the sales go. It seems like everyone that buys it will continue to rebuy it. So I couldn't be happier with the reviews it's getting and kind of the return business. I know that's going to continue to grow as well. And that 
gives us an opportunity to really kind of expand beyond that. And that's one of the reasons why I'm heading down to Sykes and now is just to have some meetings about our next steps, our next products, and where things are going in the future. I always love visiting the guys. They're great. We have a great time and we get a lot accomplished. So anyways, I have about six or seven hours left in this drive, which is no big deal. But hey, it couldn't be a better day outside to travel. So gorgeous and I absolutely love road trips. taking a little break here in Dayton, Ohio. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. I tell you, I am in such a good mood and these are the type of days that it's just perfect weather and you're just happy to be alive. This drive has been amazing. I'm about halfway there, so it's gonna go by just completely fine. I hope that everything's going good back at the shop with Lori. With Brian being gone, it has been a very stressful day for me. Not that him not being here, you know, affects a whole lot, but the fact that it seems like whenever he's not here, a lot of things tend to either go on or happen. And that's been my day. Like I've already had a ton of stuff to do. And then on top of that, things just keep throwing at me, but I got this. And at this point, I finally got enough stuff done where I can spend some time showing some stuff with you. Right now, I'm gonna work on leopard geckos and I'm gonna show you some of the really cool stuff that I'm putting on the site today. So like I said, what I'm doing now is I'm making the list of the leopard geckos that I'm adding to the site, and I'm gonna show you some of the really cool ones that catch my eye while I'm doing it, like this guy right here. How cute is he? Now this is a beautiful tangerine raptor that has snake eyes. Can you see that crazy coloring on that thing? That guy is smoking hot and he's gonna be on the website within a few days. So if you're interested in him, keep your eyes out. Well, as I'm going through here, came across another super cool one. It's got a really cool pattern, real soft colors, very pretty. I'm telling you, I have to keep Brian out of these racks because if he looks at a lot of these, he's gonna start tagging them, keep, keep, keep. And I can tell you right now, that is not gonna happen. Holy cow. So I open this cage to see what it looks like and you will not believe this. Check this guy out. How cool is that? Between the cool patterning and that blue color on his head, I think this guy is amazing. It's a pied snow eclipse. And I can tell you, as I'm going and I'm putting these ones on the site, when I see stuff like that, I tell Jessica all the time, oh, this one's gonna sell really fast. And honestly, the next day, those ones seem to be sold. So keep your eye out if you like that one, because I guarantee you, once I put that one up, it's not gonna be there for long. All right, so I made it to Sykeston, Missouri to Reptile Prime HQ. And it's been about a month and a half since I've been down here, so a lot of things have changed. In particular, this is the building that we used to manufacture the bedding in that used to have all the machines over here. And now this is a different building, so it's really cool. I can't wait to check out the new building with the new baggers and everything like that. And of course, here we are in the bagging section, which is pretty cool. So this is the new automatic bagger, and you can see they're actually bagging cat spot right now, uh, but this is pretty awesome. Check this thing out. Oh, oh, oh my God. Talk about automation. I mean, how awesome is that? And of course, this is the whole line here. Holy cow, this is pretty impressive. I haven't seen this yet, so I'm actually getting a first bird's eye view of it. Look at, it starts here. Oh my God, how awesome is that? And of course, I'm down here for some meetings because, you know, moving forward, we have so many initiatives. Uh, it's important to get together every now and then and, and talk about what our next steps are. We have some really amazing things on the horizon, so I'm super excited about it. But for now, we got probably maybe four or five hours of meetings, which, uh, you know, I'm excited about, but it's a little bit boring. But hey, let's, and it's gonna work out just fine. Check this guy out. This is one of our favorites. And I don't know, we're going back and forth whether we're gonna keep it or not. Look at this ghost scaleless corn snake. I mean, this guy is so beautiful. Actually, it's a girl, it's a female. This is the first one we've ever produced and she is so beautiful. So like I said before, I don't know if that one's one that we're gonna keep or not, but either way, we're gonna have a ton of other scaleless. Um, I've got some really cool creamsicle ones. I'm gonna show you those right now. We actually hatched two of the creamsicle scaleless. Here's the first one. Again, this is another female, but she is really cool with the yellows and the oranges. It's just so neat to me what the scaleless gene does to the patterning and wax it out, but she is just gorgeous. Look at that, it's almost like, it's not a motley, but 
it is a very cool spotty pattern. And this one is definitely more like a reddy orange where the other one was a lot lighter. I think Brian and I had showed you this one before, but this aneuthristic scaleless corn snake is pretty cool. And very feisty, as you can see. <laughs> this one has an attitude and is not a big fan of the camera, as you can see, but it is a beautiful animal. Of course, every time I'm down at the Reptile Prime offices in Cat Spot, I always have to check on their little pets that I sent them. And this, of course, is Luna, the Tremper Albino Leopard Gecko. Oh my gosh, Luna has gotten chunky. And look at how beautiful she is. I mean, she is just so nice. I mean, this is awesome. Uh, they all kind of spoil her here, just giving her little crickets constantly. Oh my gosh. Uh, I tell you, what, it's like probably twice as fat as it was last time, but so healthy. Uh, and I can't believe the color. I mean, it really got pretty. Oh, you're so beautiful, Luna. And then, of course, there's Banjo, the Enchi Banana Ball Python. And again, Banjo has gotten so big since the last time I was here. And of course, he's getting all his lack freckles in now, too. And what's kind of funny is this is actually Matt's office. And Matt, a few days ago, sent me a picture because Banjo is like the tamest ball python ever. I mean, they take him out every day, and he's just amazing. And it was just one of those things where he happened to be doing like a little snap story, and he went in to reach for Banjo, and Banjo bit him. You gotta be kidding me. And it was just a food response, just a complete, just like, oops, you know. And as a matter of fact, they actually take Banjo out and use this little feeding tub right here. So it's not like they feed Banjo in this cage. And as a matter of fact, that makes you almost wonder, you know, a lot of people say, I can't believe that you feed your snakes in your cage. You should always use a feeding cage. And Banjo actually bit Matt in his own cage. So even with a feeding cage, I don't know that that necessarily worked. But it, again, it wasn't an aggressive bite. To be honest with you, I laughed my butt off. <laughs> that was one of the funniest things ever. But Banjo is doing really good. And uh, I just love the fact that every time I come here, the animals are bigger and so healthy and happy. It just, you know, puts a little bit of warmth in my heart. All right, so we just wrapped up a bunch of meetings, just about a bunch of cool future stuff with Reptile Prime. And, uh, you know, please do me a favor and follow social media on Reptile Prime, Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. And you can keep all all up to date with what we got going on. We're definitely gonna have some really amazing things. And you know, some stuff just gets me excited. I know you're probably thinking like, Brian, who cares about betting or whatever? I get excited about it. And one of the things I think is awesome, take a look at this, look at this. These are all bags of Reptile Prime coconut bedding. And we actually have a fine blend that's gonna be coming out soon, as well as a couple smaller sizes. So uh, we have some more products coming out there. I'm really excited about it. That should be within the next, say, four weeks or so. And then take a look at this. All these boxes here, all these boxes, all the way down there, those are all cases of bedding that are Reptile Prime bedding. Again, I don't know. You guys are probably like, whatever, Brian. But to me, that's exciting. I mean, all these boxes are gonna go out to pet shops and people are gonna be able to use the product that we work so diligently hard to bring because we just wanted to bring a really premium product and that's what we're talking about is that like every product that we're gonna produce whether it's bedding or whatever it might be are gonna try to be products that are like cool products we want to make sure that your job for keeping reptiles is easier and the animals are healthier like this product here reptile prime coconut better I mean we take the dust out dust is not good for the animals and it makes your cages more dirty so by taking that out it, it doesn't get the dust into their lungs which is so important not only for your care but the animal's health. And we're gonna to continue to take that kind of mentality on every product we produce. And I'm so excited and I'm so blessed to be involved in a company that cares about stuff like I do. In my wildest dreams, I just never thought there was gonna be a time where I would walk into a building and, and see you know, bags with my face on it. Uh, it's a dream come true. As I'm wrapping up things at the Reptile Prime HQ, I'm gonna go ahead and give away one of these bags of Reptile Prime to you guys, because I just want people to check it out. I think you're gonna absolutely love it. So go ahead and comment down below. If you're in the U.S., I'm sorry I can't export it because it just costs too much to ship it. If you're in your U.S., go ahead and comment down below and tell me what you're going to use this Reptile Prime bedding for and why you want it. And I will pick one, maybe even two of you guys, and I'll ship out a bag and you guys can check it out. So anyways, what do you say we get on the road?
So I am about halfway home. It's been an absolutely long day, but really good. And I tell you what, it's just so incredible to be able to be part of something. And it kind of is a testament of just, you know, believing in yourself and following your dreams. You know, I could have never imagined a million years, 10 or 15 years ago, that I'd be on the cover of a product line and have my name on it. And uh, it's just so exciting. So I really encourage you to just continue to follow your dreams and some amazing things can happen. Regardless, as much as I love traveling, and it's been an absolutely gorgeous way to travel. The truth is I cannot wait to be home and uh, I think it's gonna happen just like this. And I am back here at BHB, and I tell you, it was a really quick trip, but an absolutely amazing trip. And again, it's just really great to be following your dreams and starting to see something come to fruition. I mean, it is so exciting. Every time we make progress with Reptile Prime or BHB or whatever it might be, it is just so exciting. It gives me so much energy. And again, I just encourage you guys to continue to follow your dreams so that you can be happy and look forward to life like I do. Regardless, I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys mean the world world to me and I love you so much. Can you do me a couple favors? Can you smash that like button as well as turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video which is every morning at 9 o'clock in the morning Eastern Standard Time. Remember to be kind to somebody today and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.